We're here in Telluride, Colorado, um, which is an enormously important setting for the novel. It's both where the, it's where the story both begins and in a sense where the story of the passage also ends. Um, it's very fitting also that we came up in a blinding blizzard which terrified us the entire way. At, at the end of the novel, several of my characters make an identical ascent in identical weather, but without the benefit of a late model American SUV with four wheel drive. So I can only imagine now how, how terrifying it must be for them to make, this, to make this climb to the mountain where we now sit in splendid comfort. Um, they of course come up a mountain that has been empty of human life and activity for a hundred years. Uh, the novel begins um, in a circumstance um, created by um, the fact that the United States has been at, involved in multiple wars for a very long time, um, is, is exhausted, is running out of soldiers, and um, engages in a medical experiment to weaponize the human form. To do this, they need human test subjects. The first 12 test subjects are all death row inmates who are um, brought to a compound um, near Telluride, Colorado, in the mountains. Um, to be exposed to a virus that will bring about profound physical changes to them. The 13th test subject um, is going to be a young girl, uh, a girl named Amy, who has been abandoned uh, at, a, at a convent in Memphis, Tennessee. The man who is charged with bringing her to Colorado is the FBI agent Brad Wolgast, um, who for reasons of his own and also because he's a decent man, senses something is deeply amiss and decides to go, in a sense, off mission. He decides to rescue her. In doing so, he forms a very profound bond with her. She is a, not just a fatherless child, but a parentless child. And he, he is also a childless parent. The question, who is Amy? The central question, really, of the book and really of the trilogy. Um, the novel begins with that question by saying, before she became the girl from nowhere, the one who walked in, the first and last and only, who lived a thousand years, she was just a little girl in Iowa named Amy. That's the first sentence of the novel. Um, a sentence that captures the grand mission of her life, her importance ultimately to the survival of the whole human race.